All right, hey guys, so this should be a shorter video than normal. Just gonna be going over some of the latest um, Steam game bundles. Uh, primarily this one, the Platinum Collection on Fanatical looks pretty good. Uh, they did have some Uplay games included in this one, the South Park Fractured But Whole, uh, Rayman Legends, Tom Clancy's The Division, and For Honor. So you can get those games for essentially $3 each, along with some other great ones like Killing Floor 2, Shadow Tactics, and so on. Um, but before that, let's just go over some other deals real quick. On Humble Bundle, there was the Data Lake 15th Anniversary Mega Bundle. So for 13 games, um, you get, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 games. So 20 games for $13. Uh, Dalek Entertainment is known for their uh, Deponia series. Uh, these are point and click adventure games for the most part. Very humorous dialogue, a good story, and like some classic like point and click puzzle elements. And there's some other sort of interesting little indie games thrown in as well. So if you're a fan of that series, uh, might be worthwhile to you. I'm not a big fan of point and click adventure games. The next one that came out recently was Burn Rubber Bundle. This is a racing bundle. So there's a bunch of racing games included in this one. Uh, some really good ones as well. But the first here includes a little indie game called Absolute Drift for just $1. This is a minimalistic indie game focused on drifting, of course. Uh, it has a variety of different tracks and challenges. I will say this game is deceivingly challenging, but once you get the hang of it, it actually uh, gets to be very entertaining and enjoyable. It's Especially considering how relaxing the soundtrack is. I actually surprisingly enjoyed this game even though it looks very very simple. The second tier is at $10.50 and the third tier is at $12 so you might as well pick up the full bundle if you go for the second tier uh, because there's a bunch of just racing sims. I don't really think I need to go over each and every one. There's a good variety here. Um, if you enjoy racing sims or perhaps you've never played them before and just want to get into racing games on PC, I certainly suggest uh, picking up this bundle. You get to uh, basically have your pick between like off-road rally cars, futuristic arcade racing, uh, realistic sports cars, go-karts, monster trucks, and even NASCAR. Uh, NASCAR Heat 5 is included in this one. So yeah, there's just a bunch of great racing games in the full bundle. Uh, Dirt Rally 2, Grip and Pacer are futuristic arcade racing games. Seto Corzo is one of the best racing sims on Steam. NASCAR Heat 5 for NASCAR fans and so forth. So pick that up if you're into racing games. Um, the Humble Choice comes out on the first Tuesday of next month so you guys will have to wait a little bit this time but if you haven't already picked up this month's Humble Choice you can get Control, XCOM, Chimera Squad and a bunch of other uh, great little indie games as well and then make sure you guys pick up the free games on the Epic Game Store. Creature in the Well is currently free and then April 1st Tales of the Neon Sea which is a pretty highly rated game and uh, going on to Fanatical before I get into some of the games in the Platinum Collection um, the All-Stars Bundle 13 is about to expire in two days and they sent me this coupon in my email and I'm pretty sure anyone can use this coupon code uh, you can get 15% off so this bundle is two dollars 15% off, you get the bundle for $1.69, and you're getting seven games. You're getting Sticks, Master of Shadows, Sniper Ghost Warrior Trilogy, which includes three games, Overlord the Ultimate Evil Collection, which includes four games, and then you get Guilty Gear 2, Narcos Rise of the Cartels, American Fugit Fugitive, and V Rally. So this is a fantastic deal, $1.69 for all of these games. Um, that's more than seven. <laughs> that's actually uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think that's 12 games in total if you include all of the games with the collection. So super good deal there. So going back to the Platinum Collection, I just want to go over a couple of the games. So it's three for $10. So that's like $3.33 per game. Um, some of them I would highly suggest would be uh, South Park, The Fractured But Whole. Super entertaining. I absolutely love South Park. Um, if you haven't played the South Park games. They are RPGs. They have the same voice actor as a show. Smud Runner is actually a really good game. When it first came out, it was super popular on Steam. It has some very interesting um, mud physics and water physics that uh, basically slow you down. And sometimes you get stuck in the mud and it's hard to traverse these off-road terrains as you're trying to deliver cargo. Um, actually very entertaining and you can spend a lot of hours into it if you're into simulators. Then Killing Floor 2, fantastic. Um, co-op uh, first-person shooter 
or zombie shooter, I should say. Um, if you guys like Nazi zombies from Call of Duty, you guys will absolutely enjoy Killing Floor 2. Very fast paced, super fun. I have played this game for dozens of hours. Really, really enjoyed Killing Floor 2. And then there's Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun. Uh, this has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. It's a stealth game based in old Japan. Uh, very interesting gameplay mechanics, uh, lots of abilities and so forth, and uh, very tactical. If you like tactical games, highly recommend picking up Shadow Tactics. You will definitely enjoy it. Uh, so going forward from that, if you want The Division, the first one, you can pick it up. It is on Uplay. So uh, keep in mind some of these games are Uplay only. You're not going to be getting Steam keys, which is kind of unfortunate, but Uplay, it kind of sucks like that Ubisoft and their shenanigans. Um, but The Division has some pretty good graphics. It's pretty fun to play um, with a friend, play in co-op, um, even today, even though it's many years old and The Division 2 is out. I think the first Division was pretty good. Um, so going down from that, you can get For Honor. That's another great game to play with friends online. Um, sort of just like a crazy medieval style combat game um, that's all multiplayer and lots of interesting game modes. Super fun if you get good at it. Otherwise, um, if you're playing against people that are really skilled, it's uh, very frustrating. Um, and then also Rayman Legends. That one's a classic. Um, it's a platformer, and even if you guys don't necessarily really enjoy platformers, Rayman Legends is just filled with, like, dozens upon dozens of hours worth of just quality content. There are so many levels in the game, and uh, if you just want something to spend a ridiculous amount of time in and actually, like, just a very well-crafted game, Rayman Legends is fantastic. And I guess the final game I'll mention is Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. This is a first-person shooter for those of you who enjoy, uh, like, online multiplayer shooters. This one is still pretty good today. Um, it used to be really good when it first came out, and there was a great community behind it. Um, nowadays, there's not too many people playing it, but I still have quite a bit of fun in, in uh, Rising Storm. So that's about all for this video. Like I said before, nothing too thrilling that came out over the last two weeks, but I certainly think uh, some of these bundles are worth it, especially if you're missing a lot of the games that I'm showing right now uh, for three dollars each i think this one's certainly worthwhile in the platinum collection and also the all-stars 13 bundle for a dollar um two dollars if you use my code dollar 69 definitely worthwhile if you have not yet picked up the game shown here but they bundle these games all of the time so no big deal there and uh, if you want some racing games be sure to pick up the uh the racing bundle on Humble Bundle. Um, so that's it this time. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the Humble Choice that comes out pretty soon in April.